up. Welcome back to Japan Treasure Hunters. Today we got Tony out here with us today. Unfortunately, Robert and Josh couldn't make it. Robert's actually uh, filming a Saigon drama, which is like a reenactment drama that they love to do over here. But I did want to plug something for Robert. Check out his Halloween books that he writes. He's written a few of them. They're on Amazon. And the link is down below in the description. And I'll have it right here on the screen too. Tony, we're, we're fixing to go out and try to find some of that ducket of gold. You excited? Um, I'm pumped for it. Um, up for the challenge. Let's let's uh, see if we can keep dry while we're at it. Yeah, yeah. The weather's gonna. This is our second plan on today. We had we were gonna go somewhere else, but we were up too high, foggy, wet. So, part two. Part two. Japan is a country with a long history and an amazing culture. Japan Treasure Hunters is on the quest to find it and bring it to you. Got short steps here. Yeah. I get some places they got really tall steps. Yeah, still <laughs> yeah, there's just no consistency, I don't think, but I guess it goes right back with whatever time period they were built. So this Tony. Cool. is a Kofun that was built in 681. And uh, <clears throat> the guy who built it actually built it for his mother. Uh -huh. If you want to go in, go ahead and go in. Would you say Kofu? Kofun. 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 Mm. It translates into tumulus. Get the flashlight going here. I didn't actually have to crawl, but it was pretty close. And then it opens up into a room. It looks like looks like some people bring in. Uh, looks like got some maybe some sake. And uh, pretty neat. The huge stones placed and fitted in. Very tight, very, it's virtually nothing. It's pretty, pretty wild. Somebody had a little bottle of sake mm -hmm. in there and whatever. Yeah. Is that, do they like, they pray yeah. in there? Too? So basically it's an offering. Um, right behind those rocks, that would that's where the actual grave is actually okay. at. So huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Alright Jeff, so somebody's gotta go get your battery. Yeah, I'll get it. Where's Robert at? Right. Hey Garrett. Yeah, right. Garrett, hi. Garrett, Garrett. Garrett stuff here, Garrett stuff here. Garrett stuff here, Garrett stuff here. Hint, hint, Garrett, hint, hint. What do you want? What's your dream? Oh, I'd like to have Garrett actually like say, hey, Japan Treasure Hunters, we got you. Considering you're the only ones in Japan with Garrett, using Garrett, advertising Garrett, it'd be a good deal. Well, that's the second time since we've been doing this that we had to send somebody up a mountain or down a mountain. I left my backpack. <laughs> no, at the top of the mountain, no, that wasn't at the top. It was, it was at the first, it was at uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe at the little shrine area. It was right there. In the middle of a trail, though. Like you had to, wasn't it at the car? Oh, no, no. In, in the... Robert had to go up a little ways and, and get it. He doesn't let us forget either. Yeah. I thought it was just part of the program. Like you just did that. Oh, every just time. initiation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hazing. Terrible... What about this place for you, Tony? All right. So up here is uh, Yamane Castle Ruins, which was the main lookout. So that way the, the samurai that were up here, they could look over the city of Takasaki and see if anyone was rolling in, right? However, at Negoya Castle, which is a kilometer that way, that's where all the men slept. 
So that's where the bulk of the garrison was, was over there. So every day they'd have to go back and forth between there and here. <laughs> this one wouldn't be one with the gate. It's just a defensive structure. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like too much of a, dis you know, like right now, but, but they could have had spikes in it. They could have yeah. had, you know, like a guard shack up here. Well, they're out. The mosquitoes are out. Yeah. It's all right. I got spray. Yeah. So the main idea was to slow them down here. Mm -hmm. So a dry one would be called a kata bodhi, empty moat, air moat. Okay. So this is the side I want to hit first because we hit that side before. There's just a lot of trash and. Mm -hmm. So we're going to hit okay. here and go back down to the trail, is that it? Yeah, we're going to hit here and then okay. detect back down and then okay. detect on the trails. Let's do it. Um, I'll see if there's an easier way, Jeff. This might be a little hard. All right, so we got a good tone right here. Oh, there's a little trashy tone on the backside. It started out good, but I'm gonna, yeah, let's hit it up. All right, he's about four inches deep. Let's see if I can catch something on the top. No, getting a one, one toner. There he goes. No, he's he's there, but it's like really, really shallow tones. There he is. He doesn't... It's a coin. Aha! Kanetsu ho! Check this out, Tony. Nice. Cool. So so these these ones are made, I can't tell exactly because I can't speak a kanji, mm -hmm. but anywhere from 1626 to 1868 is when they were done in Micanese. But odds are, since this is mainly populated after 1660s or so, mm -hmm. the coin's probably from the 1700s. They're an awesome, that's, nice, that's cool, great start, First, great start. Well, it's, so it's, if there's one, there's going to be more up in here. So. Yeah, it seems to be pretty clean up here. I, I've got something here. I just okay. I want you to look at it. At, I guess I'm saying real weak. Okay. So I don't know if you know if it's anything to even dig for. I mean, it's a 75 on there now. That wasn't. Was it a good solid 75? It didn't bounce around too much. It. It. Well, I wasn't getting that earlier, so it's 64. I can pinpoint it like right there, where, where I think it's at. Okay. Yeah, check it out. So, so what I like to do first is I like to poke a hole in the ground first, and then With, stick the pinpointer in it. Okay. Because the smaller the hole, the better, right? Because yeah. a lot of times you can like hit like right next to it and you're like right on top of mm -hmm. it so so and you poke a hole with what with with, with the carrot or no, with, with your that. with that yeah. okay so yeah so you got to get down in 30 tony this is not a clean sport there you go and then and then turn on your pinpointers stick them in the hole It, you're like almost like right on it. Right there. That, that's it right there. Is that it? Uh, no, Pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, yeah. What is it? Coin. What is it? Got a coin here. Oh. Just like what you just found. Or is, oh. that, is that a smaller size? No, that looks you? like an iron one. Oh, cool. Tony. Oh, yeah. First coin. Look at that. Right, yeah. Nice. yeah, that didn't take long. Iron. And so what that means is since that, that's an iron one, it's after 1773. Gotcha. Okay. Because they started running out of metal or something? Yeah. And they thought it would be cheaper to use iron. All right. Well, that, that, that'll get my confidence level up. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. It, it seemed kind of weak to me, yeah. you know, but anyway, yeah, I got to get used to that. Yep. And then make sure that you check around the hole, too, because there okay. could be another one laying in there. Gotcha. That was worth the, worth the extra trip down to get the battery. <laughs> well, that, that makes me feel better now that you got that. So. Makes me yeah. feel a whole lot better. 
And <clears throat> I could see how I could have missed that real easy too with kind of a, a, as slight as it was at first. Yeah, oh, foil. Ah. That's, yep. Well, as Robert would say, foiled again. There it is right there. No way, no way. Whatever that is right there, I have no idea. No idea. This is one piece? Yeah, I think so. Can you palm that again? Yeah. Feels like a button. It's a cap or something. It's a round in shape? Yeah, it's round and it feels like it's a cap for something. Part of a uniform? Could be. Full tab. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Huh. Ah, we got a musket ball. It's a lead musket ball. Nice. Maybe our friend Matt can uh, let us know what type that is. I have to hit him up. Japan Treasure Hunters, konnichiwa. My name is Matt Takahara from the Gun Samurai channel, and you've asked me to look at some recovered ammunition, and here are my thoughts. Being slightly over 12 millimeters, that makes this a three mon made bullet, which is a little bit smaller than a battle caliber bullet. Given its size and the location it was found in, it probably came from a Torizutsu gun, which is used for hunting birds or small game as seen in this Edo era scroll. Battle size caliber bullets normally started at around 5 Monme, which is 14.6 millimeters or larger. So it would appear that the Japan treasure hunters have found a hunting bullet. If you're interested in finding out more about Japanese gunnery, then you can follow the link in the video or read the description below. Cool, cool, cool.